India's Prime Minister left Moscow for Beijing on Monday, hoping to sign a border deal. And Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev is visiting China this week to discuss economic cooperation. Joining us now to discuss the relationships between China, Russia, and India, Tanvi Madun. And uh, she is with the Brookings Institution Foreign Policy Program, and we want to thank you for coming by. Let's start with uh, Russia and India. How would you describe that relationship? Where is it at? Where do both countries want it to go? Good evening. Um, so Russia and India have a much uh, longer relationship, a stronger relationship than I'd say the one with China and India. Uh, for the last 60 years, it's been fairly consistent. But on, uh, compared to, for example, India's relations with the U.S., uh, re India's relations with Russia have remained strong but steady. They're not quite on an upward trajectory. It's more one of consolidation. Uh, and if you look at where India's relationships with, are going, who it's engaging with on a much greater level, Russia is probably not one of the top two countries. Let's, uh, I want to talk about India and China, but let's first mm -hmm. let's step back and look at Russia and China's relationship. Mm -hmm. They want to grow economic cooperation. Um, how likely is that and how far can that go? Um, you know, for both of them, uh, the, there are areas of cooperation and areas of competition. In some cases, for example, they're cooperating in, in the energy field. But wherever countries start to cooperate as well at a greater level, there are also s some conflict starts coming up. So energy is actually a good example where the two countries, for example, both cooperate, but also that's an area where there started to be difficulties amongst the, the two countries. And that kind of brings us to India, because India and China has a, it's a very delicate relationship, and there's, they're also kind of doing this delicate mm -hmm. dance of cooperation and yet competition. In fact, in some cases, conflict when it comes to the borders. What can be done there? Um, you're, you described it perfectly. It's cooperation, a competition, and occasionally conflict, uh, though they've got better at, at, at making sure that the latter uh, is minimized and doesn't take place uh, as much as it used to. That what they're doing is things like this visit, where Prime Minister Manmohan Singh is going to Beijing. This follows a series of visits uh, from Indian officials to China and the Chinese and Chinese officials to India, including Premier Li Keqiang's visit uh, to India, his first as Prime Minister. Uh, which he said was to send a statement about India's importance to China. One of the things that they're doing is trying to engage in areas where they can cooperate, economics, for example. Having said that, there are still problems, in, including at the border, where there continues to be a boundary dispute. How does that get resolved? Because that seems to be a major sticking point, doesn't it? Yes, and what's interesting is they've had 16 rounds of border talks. Uh, but if you look at where they're going, at least during this visit, what they look to do, look to be doing, is not so much resolving it as managing it so it doesn't get out of hand. So it stays in maybe the competition, maybe a rivalry stage, but doesn't go to conflict. There was a border clash earlier this year. They're trying to make sure that doesn't happen. And the interesting thing is when you look at these, these countries, it's almost like an octopus with tentacles going out in all different directions. And sometimes the tentacle goes in a direction that one country doesn't particularly like, mm -hmm. and that would be China and Pakistan. Mm -hmm. uh, can you talk a little bit about that and, and how is that strained the relationship? Because obviously India and Pakistan do not have a friendly relationship. Sure, and one of the things, if you look at the top three concerns that India has vis-a-vis uh, -vis China, one would be the border, uh, the second would be uh, on the river waters area. The third, and I would actually put this second if you're looking at a ranking, is China's relationship with Pakistan. Some would actually put it above even the border dispute as having the potential to create serious problems between the two countries. Uh, there are uh, Indian officials uh, will say privately, but commentators talk publicly about the cooperation between China and Pakistan on the nuclear and missile programs of Pakistan, but also kind of infrastructure building in what India considers its territory in the north. Tanvi, thank you so much for coming in. Certainly appreciate all your insights. Thank you so much. More news straight ahead.